Now, what I'm going to show you are flies tied, or flies that came uh, from Megan, Megan Boyd's estate uh, many years ago. Uh, in this card here you can see a selection of seven flies. Now, when I got these, the seven flies plus two trout flies, found in Megan's workshop and tied by her. And uh, what these were, if you can see, there's a sellotape. Well, the sellotape used to be there across, but obviously through time it's fell off. And <clears throat> they're just basic flies, I mean, unusual. Like this one here, just it's a large single as you can see. Uh, it's basically um, it's like a, it's like a willy gun, really. It's like a gold willy gun and a big single. And uh, there's another hair wing, this one. Just basically, I'm not sure what the name of this one would be. But there's obviously some winged versions. Yeah. This she's been tying. Uh, some nice patterns. But they were tied by Megan. So, unusual. It's a couple of dry flies. Uh, these are... So quilled bodied dry flies, just American style I would say more than anything. Um, I'm not sure if she, well, according to the, the note I got, that she tied these like, but um, she may have been given these by the looks of them. Um, I'm not sure how many trout flies Megan tied. I don't know anyone that's got Megan flies or dry, uh, trout flies tied by Megan to compare. But these are very like... You would see in the Catskills type style fly, the dry flies. Really nice. I really like them. So anyway, these are really sort of good patterns. Other flies that was, that was found in Megan's belongings. Uh, one of my favourites would be the Lady Caroline. This is a gut-eyed uh, version. Again, they came from Megan's estate. Uh, some gut eyed. I mean, I have to be honest, I would probably say that she could have these as samples. You don't know. I mean, these, this one especially looks like Megan may have tied the Taurish type fly, uh, a Green Highlander, or a variant anyway. Same as a Jock Scott. And uh, it's, it's a couple of other ones, like a Popham here. But again, I'm not sure. Looking at the style of this fly, it's, I mean, it's a nice fly, it's well tied. Um, but it came from Megan's estate. I've got a few other flies. I've got this one here. I called it Colonel Blythe, or the original. It was a fly, it was a lot of times she was left notes uh, on her door when she wasn't in. Uh, the fly could have been left, she could have tied it as well. Uh, could you tie me more of these? And she got, you got that kind of regular. Again, I've got here, I've got an acroid. Uh, two or three other flies, other patterns. Green Highlander there or so. A couple of other gut eye flies again. These could easily have been uh, just samples. Like these here. These are two hardy flies. They've got the hardy sticker on them. She could have tied, her, tied these. She did tie for hardies. Uh, she did tie, I think it was late 60s she started tying. Uh, there is a letter out there that says exactly when she started tying. So again, there's a, another two nice flies. This one I would say definitely she tied more than anything. And uh, this one here's uh, the Colonel Bates. Um, Ty is a married wing fly. There's a wee note beside it in the Joseph Bates card because he wanted more. So basically, it's, it's a Colonel Bates in the 1970s this was done. But this was inside the letter from... Uh, i show you the letter. Do it better. So we've got Joseph Bates, D. Bates Jr. Uh, we've got the date, uh, basically when it was when she was sent, some information about the fly and so on. They wanted more flies tied and they sent this back. Megan sent this to uh, to my friend. 
says there, to my friend Joseph D. Bates Jr. with best wishes from Megan, Bora, Scotland. So basically, uh, this was with the card and inside the letter, so this is a lovely thing to have. I mean, the other thing I've got here is these were flies. Again, tying singles in the inner style, which basically the to me they look like they've been set up as to be framed or whatever. I mean they're fishing, they're just not finished. The the heads are not some of the heads are not varnished, this one is. That one's partially varnished, same as that, just a single coat of varnish. There's quite a few of them there, they're on lightnings and so on. So again it's a it's a nice selection of flies tied on the, the single hook. So anyway there's some of the, the, the items for you to have a look at or to see which I'm sure um, many would would love to have of their own. There are many other items so I have so but we'll show them in another day and thank you for watching.